Hadoop supports joins as well. We can do table joins on Hadoop. Uh, SQL join like SQL joins. We can do left join, right outer join, left outer join, inner join, union join. All of that can, is possible on Hadoop. Only thing is that it has few restrictions in terms of only equi joins or equality joins are possible. That means if you have table A, table B, if you are joining them, A dot key equal to B dot key those only are possible if the final condition is a dot key less than b dot key or a dot key greater than b dot key that is unequality join that is not possible but most of the times if you are working with equality joins the joins that we already knew then you can directly use hive which will help you to join bigger tables and create the final resultant table so let us see how joins are performed on hive so first of all we need to get two data sets online retail customer online retail invoice these are the two tables that we need to first create <coughs> so first we need to get the data inside our virtual machine so let's go back to the data sets folder in the data sets folder we have stock price data user review data we don't have online retail customer data so that particular folder need to be copied inside the virtual folder so online retail sales data this need to be copied so I'm just copying online retail sales data so this has two or three or four five files are there two of them are text files online retail invoice txt online retail customer txt these two are the files that we are going to use to perform our exercises in joins okay the first command from local we want to copy the online retail customer data onto HDFS that is online retail customers is on HDFS so basically first we have to get the data into virtual machine from virtual machine you copy it onto HDFS once it is inside HDFS then you create the tables inside hive that is schemas then you fill that empty tables with the data set already stored on HDFS because we already got the data onto HDFS. So once the data is stored or loaded into HD from HDFS inside this table on Hive, then the data set is ready. So that is how we prepare these two data sets. So first, let us get this data inside HDFS. So you can use sudo command or directly you can use Hadoop FS. So I'm directly using Hadoop FS. Copy from local. This is the local file and get put it on put it on HDFS we can see HDFS command that is Hadoop FS hyphen LS basically the file name on HDFS that we just copied is online retail customer online retail customer is created the second file that we are going to create is online retail invoice in the same manner we'll just create that online retail invoice online retail invoice is again pushed on to HDFS you can see whether it is really there or not list of the files online retail invoice online customers both of them are there now we'll go back to hive hive terminal by the way this we have executed in non hive terminal now we will go back to hive terminal so this is the hive terminal right within hive terminal i'm creating a new table our new table name is online retail customer table online retail customer then once i create this table then we will push the data from HDFS onto this table and we already know the schema of this table you can take it from here the schema of this table so create table this is an empty table that we can create so here is an empty table that we are creating then these are the fields in that particular table so this empty table is created on hive you can say show tables right show tables where is this table online retail customer table is there once this table is created from the HDFS in fact if you see select count star in this table there will be nothing right zero rows will be there 
select counter from table online retail customer and the command then you will get zero rows because it is just an empty table now we will fill the table how we will fill the table we have the hdfs path that is online retail customer we will load that data into this schema table schema that we just have created loaded if we run the same command we will see the number of rows right what are the number of rows in this table there are 30 341,000 rows are there in this particular table similarly create table number two why are we creating two tables because we are going to use them in joints create table number two table number two created pretty fast load the data inside table number two from the hdfs data hdfs text data you have loaded the data so we have two tables ready for our access we just prepared the tables we haven't yet started any of the joins now let's do left join if you already know joins there is nothing much to explain here what is left join if it is uh, so you have table one table two you want to take everything from the left side table and whatever is matching from the right hand side table you just want to attach it so simply we are creating a new table table left join so if you are not aware about joins please go back to our sql session please read joins part there get clarity on joins then you can start executing these left joins so you have left join uh, table one retail customer table two online retail invoice customer data is there invoice data is there then there is one unique id already present in these two uh, data sets we just want to join these two and finally create a new table called table left join so simply copy paste this code and put it in hi so joins again map radius will be starting so map radius finished how many rows are there in the resultant table select count star from left join so in the final left join table how many rows are there so there are 341,000 rows are there obviously whatever is the left hand side table those many rows will be there if you see table 1 that is left hand side table that will have 341,910 rows right so that is how we do left outer join similarly we can write right outer join the only difference will be create table right outer join select star from or right left side table as t1 right outer join or right join then table 2 as t2 t1 dot unique id t2 dot unique id why are we writing drop table if there is already table existing then we might get an error since we haven't created any table here we can directly write the query so we wrote the query this will create the right outer join table okay and then let us see how many rows are there in the resultant table 400,000 rows are there they must be equivalent to the right hand side of the table because we did right outer join this table will also have 400,000 rows so that is how we do right outer join inner join whatever is common in between these two tables that will be the resultant table if we do inner join we will get a key unique id if it is there on these two tables then those many rows will be created so it is running map reduce inner join result how many rows are there in the resultant table so it is still 
executing the MapReduce code there is a lot of Java related queries happening behind the scenes we have no clue on what they are but anyway finally it, they are doing they're getting our job done so how many rows are there in the resultant table there are 200,000 and one so those are the common observation between them full outer join simply we use full outer join so basically everything together all the data that is available in form of one table full outer join observations from table one common observations observations from table two that is full outer join so full outer join will have so how many observations are there in full outer join table one number of common observations and then table two so total observations in full outer join are 541909 so those that is how joins work in hive